I have written down here five locations that I'm going to this week. The water is brown. Muddy. It's all, they're all muddy. Oh, oh my. <gasps> Holy cow, there's like three or Dude, there's several smallies down there. I just got dropped off. Oh, yeah. The big one. Stay out there, stay out there. Holy cow. I got smoked in there. Exploration is what I love, whether it's a small little creek, a river, going up a creek that's off of a river. It's actually here, day number five. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. This water looks so good. Well, I have to admit, I'm a little bit nervous starting off this video because this is something that I've been wanting to do, kind of been in the works for two years. I have written down here a piece of paper with uh, five locations that I'm going to this week. The goal is to kayak across Tennessee, starting up in Northeast Tennessee. We're gonna end uh, kind of in the middle of Tennessee, but on the west side. It's not all the way to Memphis, but as far as I could get with uh, places that I could find. The goal is to kayak a different river, and I got five rivers written down. It's also really hot, and it's um, August, but I wanted to wait till school started back. So most schools are back in. I don't think there'll be too many people out on the water. And also, um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do it for endurance. This is gonna be tiring. This is the biggest adventure and the biggest like uh video series that i've ever tried to do tomorrow morning we're gonna start on the first one hopefully this is at the beginning i don't know how this turns out um i might look back at this and be like wow that was too much i might look back and be like i'm never gonna do this again i'm hoping the goal is to look back and want to do something like this every year or lead into other things so i'm excited about this series here's part one I'll tell you more about it tomorrow morning when we get to the river. It's the morning, time to get this thing started. I'm uh, extra nervous. <laughs> I'm going down a river never been down before, going seven miles. This is the Nolichucky River. Pretty famous river for some big smallmouth, but also known for rapids and like some whitewater stuff, which they do a lot of rafting. But the guy said, I should be good to go. I'm a little worried about, you know, some of these rapids I come across. The water is up just a little bit. They've had some rain, it got a little uh, tint to the water, but it's pretty clear. It may look muddy, but it's, I can see most of it. I can see, um, you know, several feet into it, but, uh, it's moving pretty fast. So we're going to try to fish. Main goal is survive. Don't flip. Try to catch fish. That's third. So, um, we got quite a bit of, quite a bit of fast moving water to roll through. I think we can just be able to paddle through a lot of it. And I got everything strapped down. I'm ready to go. Pretty secured. Let's get to it.
it's just the start. I'm actually keeping my GoPros in uh, waterproof mode because I uh, don't know what's going to happen today. Let's get through a couple of these rapids. Try to find some, we got some little calmer water coming up. Well, this is disappointing. Just what I didn't want to happen. I guess it's a good thing it happened right away. I've already, I flipped my kayak. I haven't even got through the second little rapid. There, uh, I was going through it fine, but I was taking on so much water. The, my kayak was full of water and I couldn't, I wasn't floating over it. I had too much water, one little turn and it, was, it went over. I grabbed, I grabbed these rods with my hand and somehow I had my paddle in my hand. I had my paddle, two rods, I grabbed them. I swam, pulled the kayak to the bank to stand up because I was about to go down this over here. Uh, this is aggravating. My GoPro was attached for a while, but when I flipped the kayak over, it came off and I don't know where it's at. So I lost that GoPro, I lost one rod and my waterproof case wasn't waterproof. I'm gonna have to get a better case than that for all my electronics. I grabbed my main bag, so, oh, somehow I didn't zip it all the way up. I grabbed uh, this. I lost one of these, a rod, and my GoPro. <laughs> I just got this whole thing planned out. I had the uh, guy bring me up here, drop my truck off downstream. I'm about to walk back up there and be like, hey, take me back to my truck. <laughs> I hate to do that too. I feel so uh, like a loser, but I'm not gonna keep going. I got seven more miles of this, plus there's bigger rapids coming up and I can't avoid them. There's too much current, you gotta go with it. Yes, I found the GoPro. And I found it. Oh, look, look, look. Oh my. Yeah. Oh, the devastation. Feels so good just to find this stuff. There's more stuff in there. What is that? Hmm, some hooks. Did you know I lost that? I got a rod in there somewhere. I wonder if I can find it.
pouring down. I looked at the forecast, it said excessive heat warning. It hasn't got out of the 70s. I have to catch a fish out of here before I move on. I want to leave and like go towards my next place, but I got to go down here at least cast for a while. Oh, it's dark over there. I hope that storm ain't coming this way. Well, out here in the middle, I don't know how I'm gonna get out. Whoa! Yes! Hold on, hold on. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Touch it, we got a fish. We got a fish! Oh my goodness. Feels so good, Dick. Master this fishery here. A little smally right off the bank. And storm just went through. Now it's getting dark again. Like another storm's coming through. Just thinking about the mountains up here, a little different. Man, I feel like I could catch fish today if I could just get to the spots. The water is actually clearing up as it's. I still got here at like nine. It's. I don't even know what time it is. After twelve now, I think. Hey, we got a smally, successful day, didn't die, caught a fish. I think I just got uh, hit by a big smallmouth in this creek. I came back upstream and the sun all of a sudden just started to come back out. It's been going in and out. Fish on, fish on, fish on. It is a little smally. I went up. I thought that first hit I had on the spinnerbait, I had the camera off, but um, had a hit on the spinnerbait. Oh, and it looked like a big smallmouth. I went up just a little bit. I fished that hole really good. Went up to this hole. That's a pretty one. This water up here is cold. I wasn't sure if there'd be, what was in them? Well, this wasn't, well, this water's cold. This wasn't exactly the river. But a little creek that runs into it. It'll be a pretty one there. I have eaten and driven about two hours, so I'm thinking a little more sane now. Got got away from all that rain and everything, and. I stopped to make a couple casts. This is the river I was wanting to fish tomorrow. I don't know if I can or not. I don't know if the guide service is gonna be working, but I'd stop here and call it a smallmouth. Well, this turned out to be a wreck of a video and a wreck of a fishing trip, but that's real stuff. The whole point of this trip I wanted to do, I wanted to show what really happens. And if it gets rained out or flooded my kayak without even getting a cast, and not even getting to fish the, the river I really wanted to fish, but I learned a lot. So that's that happened. That's that's so that's day one. Um, good news is I've talked to the people for day two. The river is a much easier flowing river. The water looks good. It's gonna be a lot calmer. They're gonna be there at nine o'clock in the morning. So I gotta go find somewhere to stay the night. And uh, I'm a, I'm excited about tomorrow. I think it's gonna be a nice and easy. Uh, I did already caught one fish right there off the uh, just off the bank. So I think that'll be more fun. So. Can't wait tomorrow. Thanks for watching this video. And day one, hopefully day two, is a lot more exciting and a lot more easier on me.